All right, welcome to another video for Algebra 2. Uh, in this video, I'm going to address some of the problems that uh, I got emails for. Uh, I'm looking at page 13, number 16. So for number 16, it's asking us to find the 12th term of, of 13x, 13x minus 4y raised to the 11th power. So it's asking us for the 12th term, and it's to the 11th power. So essentially what I'm looking for is the last, the last term. And I'm going to use my binomial theorem formula to find that last term. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So n factorial, so the n factorial is going to be 11 factorial divided by, and my k, my k, since this is my last term, this is the 11th term, uh, I know that this is going to be 11 factorial, and then my n minus k factorial, I know that's going to be 11 minus 11 factorial, so that's going to be 0 factorial. And my a, my a term is my 13x, so that's my a term, 13x, and again it's n minus k, and I know that to be 0, so that's going to be raised to the 0 power. Okay. And then my next term is my b, to, my b raised to the k power, and I know that my uh, my k is 11, so that's and my b is negative 4y, so that's negative 4y. There's my b raised to the 11th power, and at this point now it's just a matter of simplifying. So let's simplify this first. So I know that 0 factorial is 1, so I'm left with 11 factorial divided by 11 factorial. And I know that that simplifies to 1, so I can just say 1. 1 times 13 raised to the 0, 13x raised to the 0 power is also 1, so that's just 1. And now I have negative 4. I have negative 4 raised to the 11th power times y raised to the 11th power. And so I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to go to my calculator and I'm going to plug in. I'm going to do open parentheses negative 4, that way my my uh, calculator knows that it's negative 4 that I'm raising to the 11th power. Enter. And so I have 1 times 1 times this, which is negative, let's see, 4 million 194,304 times y to the 11th power. And that is that is my 12th term, okay? And that should make sense because x is to the zero at this point, and that any y, my b should be the 11th power too, okay? All right, so let me, let me close this. Let's go to the next one. So the next question I had was number six on page 19 of your review. So let's look at number six. So let me rewrite the problem here. Add 4f to the 5. And then times 4f squared raised to the negative 1. So as I look at this, one of the things that pops out to me first initially is this. The fact that this is raised to the negative 1. I don't want a negative exponent, so I want to transfer that over uh, to a to the denominator. And rather than rewriting the whole thing out, I'm just going to go ahead and move this down to the denominator. 4f squared. Let me clean this up now. So this is my new problem. And so as I'm looking at this, I want to find ways that I can simplify this. And what sticks out to me is the fact that I have a 4, 6, 12, negative 8. These numbers are all they all do have a greatest common factor, and uh, that is, looks like it's going to be 2. So I'm going to factor out a 2 out of all of these. A 2, and also it looks like they have f in common, so I'm going to factor out an f. And what's the highest or the lowest uh, f that they have? And this is f squared, so that means I can factor out an f squared out of all of these also. So I can factor out a 2 f squared. So let me rewrite my problem now. So I'm going to have a 2f squared, open parentheses, uh, 2 times f cubed, 
these two terms, multiply these two, will give me that first term. Um, minus a 3f squared plus a 6f minus a 4, close parentheses, and then divided by 4f squared. So now what I can do, now that I can actually, uh, I can factor out, I can factor out the 2. Okay, that'll simplify to 1, and then that simplifies the 4 to 2. And then my f squareds will cancel or will uh, simplify to 1. So then my new problem is, so this all factored out, and my new problem has a denominator of just 2. And I have all of this at the top divided by 2. Now, one of the things I'm noticing here is that here I have a 2, I have a 6, and then I have a 4. That can actually simplify. Now, I can't actually touch that because everything is plus minus, but what I can do is I can actually um, I can make this into separate fractions. I can say 2f cubed divided, divided by 2 minus 3f squared divided by 2 plus 6f divided by 2. So I'm expanding. This is the expanded form of this problem. And the reason why I'm using expanded form is because by using expanded form, now I can actually simplify those terms that were at the top, right? So let's see, I can simplify the 2s. And 3 over 2 doesn't simplify, but 6 over 2 does. So that's 3 over 1. And this simplifies to 2 over 1. So now my answer, my simplified answer is f cubed minus 3 over 2 f squared plus 3f minus 2. And this is my final answer. Okay, well, I hope this helped. Uh, these were two problems that were given to me, were sent to me via email. And um, good luck in your studying.